In this video, I'll show you how you can create your website. There is another video with additional website settings you can see after this one. But for now, let's go ahead and see how you can design your website. To create a website, go ahead and click Sites here, and then go to the Websites tab here, and click Create. Give your website a name. By default, you're creating a website. If you change your mind, you can click landing page, but I'm going to stick with website for this video. Save and continue. Now choose the group you will be using with any forms you create in your website and click continue right here. Instead of a template, you can just click start from scratch. Now this will give you a very simple template that you can change to your liking and you will be inside the visual editor. Now, the default view is the pages. You can see the pages here correspond to the pages you see in the menu here. You can go ahead and copy a page and you see the intro copy here and you see it here. You can also change the order by dragging and dropping these pages up or down and this will also change over here. Now, instead of just dropping between pages, you can go ahead and drag on one of the pages and that will create a sub menu. If you click this button here, it will normally show the other page. But since we're in the editor, if I click this, it will take me to an area where I can edit this element. That's why I am not going to click it here. But you can see the sub menu in the preview here. Now you can delete a page by clicking the trash can button. And you can also click the pencil to access additional settings. Here you can change the name of the page. You can also hide the page from navigation. This is useful when you're creating a draft and marking the page as a draft with this feature here. You can also protect the page by clicking here and access the social settings here. Here you can change the page title, page description, add keywords, and for the social share area, you have the title, description, and the image. This is what you will see when sharing your page on social media platforms. Once you're done, go ahead and click Save, and you're ready to go. Now, for other pages, you can also edit the Not Found or 404 page, and also the Password Protection page by clicking these here. To create a new page, click Create New. You can create a page, just like the ones over here. You can create a blog. Please see the blog video I have to learn more about the blog feature. You can create an external link, so you can link to anything you want. You can also choose a pop-up that you have already created within MailerLite or a landing page you have already created within MailerLite. And that's that for this page tab. Now let's go into settings. Here you can change the page layout of your website. You can have container view or transparent. I'm going to stick with container. You can change the spacing and back to large. You can include the header, which is here, or you can disable it if you like, so it's more like a landing page. You can also include a footer. If you go to the bottom, if we click Include Footer, you'll see the footer show up, and you can also see the notification bar. If you click here, you can use this for cookies. I'm going to disable this for now. Scroll back up, and let's look at these settings here. You can change the font, the background color of your whole site, so let's go ahead and change the background color. This is for the middle part. There it is, a little more gray. And if you want to change the body background, go ahead and click here and choose the color you wish. Let's go with this very light blue color. Click Save. And these are global settings. So for example, if you have a Headings 2 text here and here, and if you want to change all the Heading 2 texts, just go ahead and click this button here. Change the color. For example, let's go with this really dark red. There we go. It's changed here and here. And once you're ready, you just go ahead and click Save. But what if you want to go more granular and just change the settings of one specific block? Well, go ahead and click the pencil button here. And here you have the specific content settings for this specific block. This will change depending on the block you're using. But then you have the settings for the design right over here. And here you can change the heading to text to, for example, blue. Click Save. You'll see that only this block changed. This is still a dark red color. And you have settings for different things like vertical alignment, block ratio. 
you can create a card out of this block if you wish. And you can also apply this setting to other similar blocks by clicking apply here. But let me go ahead and cancel. And now from the settings area, let's go to the blocks area. Of course, from the blocks area, it's very similar. You can also access every single block here and edit it. You can also duplicate a block and use the trash icon to delete it. You can also just go ahead and drag and drop the block anywhere you like. For example, let's go lower with this block. And you can also use these arrows instead to make a block move up or down. You have all the content blocks you can use right over here, but you can also use this plus button here to add a block from this list. These are the same blocks that are here. They just look a little different. This is a list instead of a grid with icons. Now, every element here is editable. You can see this little pencil button. If you click that, you get additional features showing up here. For example, this image block, you get additional settings you can change. Now for the text elements, you can go ahead and edit it right in the block. You see this little word processing bar here that you can use that is pretty familiar. And you can do the same thing with other parts of text. Now with this little triangle you see here, this allows you to change the size of the image right from here. Now let's go ahead and click cancel again to see all the blocks. And you can drag and drop the blocks you want like so. This is a simple text block. This is a divider that has specific settings for that. A spacer that allows you to space things out. If I click the spacer again, I get the specific settings for this block and I can space things out, change the background, etc. I'm going to go ahead and cancel small image and content. This is what we see here. Then we have testimonials, one column content. Then you have two columns content right over here and three columns, a button you can use, some social links, some social share links right over here, one image, an image carousel, an image gallery, a sign up form, and this will link to the group you chose. And again, if you click the pencil here, you get additional settings where in your form you can add fields, etc., etc. Turn off images if you want. For example, if you don't want the images or text, you see how everything changes here. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. Then you have surveys and quizzes, and you can only use one of these at a time. So you see these will gray out. You can use countdown timer a map. If you integrated Instagram with MailerLite, you will be able to use the Instagram feed block, a newsletter archive, a table, HTML code, an anchor. This is very interesting. If you're using, a, if you're creating a one page website, you can create an anchor, for example, and I'm not going to change the name. I'm just going to keep it as anchor. And then for example, if you want, you can go ahead, scroll up to the menu. And now let's go ahead and choose a button. For example, let's just put it here. Let's call this button. Scroll down. <laughs> of course, you can call this something different like the area you want the person to scroll down to and choose anchor right over here. Select the anchor. We have only one and it's called anchor. Go ahead and click save. And now when someone clicks this button, it's going to scroll down to that anchor. That's what an anchor is for. Then we have one time purchases. So you can actually sell things on your website and reoccurring purchases, which also allow you to sell, for example, subscriptions. Please see the products and subscription videos for that. And that's about it. Now let's look at the top here. We have the active page here. We can also go to other pages. This is very similar to the pages area here. And manage pages just brings us back to this area right over here. So this allows us just to quickly move between pages when we're not in the pages area. And now let's see the other things we have here. Let's say we made a big mess like I did right over here. What we can do is click this button here and go back in time. We see the recent changes. Let's go all the way to the bottom and undo all the changes we made. And there we go. So this is how this template looked at the very beginning. We can also preview it here. 
And here we have a preview of the site, so we can go ahead and scroll up and down. This is how it will look for our visitors. And we also have the mobile view over here. And once we like what we see, you can just go ahead and click X. And the last thing we have here is this drop down. You can save as a draft instead of saving and publishing. But when you're done, you can just go ahead and save and publish. And there we go. Your website is up and running. And for all these additional settings, please go ahead and see the specific video for that. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Again, thank you for watching. If you need more help, contact us directly or join our academy and learn all the ins and outs of MailerLite. All the details are in the description. See you there and have a wonderful day.